Okay, today we're going to draw Lewis structures. Okay, the thing about drawing Lewis structures is it's a process. You need to follow the rules in an orderly manner. Okay, you just don't try to fit things together or the Lewis structure doesn't come to you. Okay, the first step is always add up the total number of valence electrons on all atoms in a molecule. Okay, let's say for example we are going to do water, H2O. H2O is made up of two H's plus one oxygen. We know because hydrogen is in the 1A column of the periodic table, there's one valence electron. We know that oxygen, because it's in the 6A column on the periodic table, has six electrons. So all together, we have eight valence electrons. All right, what do we do next? We go ahead and we say, okay, now step number two is connect all atoms using a single bond. And that's a single covalent bond. We can do it in two ways. We can do this where we show a covalent bond as being two electrons where each dot is an electron. That gets to be kind of um, clunky drawing all those dots. So what we commonly do is a straight line like this represents two bonding electrons. So we connected the atoms. Usually the unique atom will be in the middle, okay? After we do that, we go ahead and we give all atoms eight electrons, which we call a filled octet. Except who doesn't get eight? Hydrogen doesn't get eight. And helium doesn't get eight. Okay? Why not? No p orbitals, only s orbitals. So they're happy with two. All right? So if we go back up here to water, what are we going to do? We're going to put in hydrogen has two. It's good. This hydrogen has two. It's good. Oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I'm using this notation, I'm going to put them here. The electrons are always put together as lone pairs. We would never ever do something like this, where we have an electron by itself. That's called a free radical, and that's very bad, okay? We always put them in lone pairs. That's what this grouping is called, okay? All right, now, after we go ahead and do that, what's our next step? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say, okay, all atoms have eight. Now I count up total number of electrons used. Okay, if number four equals number one, if I used as many electrons as I have, I am done. Okay, in this case, when I look at water, I used two, four, six, eight. I used eight, I had eight, I'm done. There's the Lewis dot structure of water.